What's up guys, this is your boy TNT Barbecue. And today I'm bringing you a pork butt video hot and fast. Yeah, when I say hot and fast, I mean hot and fast, guys. So I'm gonna take you through the easy steps on how to season these pork butts, getting ready for the smoker. So I'm gonna bring you in and show y'all the easy way to cook these pork butts hot and fast. Y'all let's go. We're going on this journey together. Peace. Right, so we got some uh, nice pork butts here. Uh, they're probably eight, nine pounds a piece. We're going to go hot and fast on these pork butts. We're using a, a Weber Smoky Mountain. So I want to go right here. And I just like to score this fat just to let the rub seek in. You don't want to go too deep, but you just want a nice scores. Then you want to go across the grain like such. Just, yep, this is just, this helps that fat cap. And it's a good presentation, I think. So that's what I like doing. So we'll do the rest right here. Just kind of, that's what we're doing, okay? Then you wanna just go across the grain. Just go across the grain. You don't have to go, you know, you want nice size square, but you wanna make sure that, uh, you see that though? You just go ahead and, just go ahead and, yeah. So that's it, okay? So that's what we got right there, okay? So for seasoning this pork butt, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna grab uh, Cosmo Q, SPG. We're gonna go off with this, my boy Ramon, uh, Mochar Craft, Red Bark. And you will know uh, the Red Bark. You will know this when you, when you use this. So this is what we're doing. This is these are great rubs together. So I'm gonna just go with SPG right here. You want to cover? I'm not using a binder. Um, you can, but I'm not gonna use one. And you wanna make sure you coat everything. Get in between those uh, nooks and crannies. Do all sides. And this is some good smelling stuff. I go on pretty liberal with my, my rub and my pork butt. I don't eject pork butts as much as I used to, but this is, this is a special pork butt. So I got my Mochar Craft, red bark. And that's why I'm going on with the red bark now. You talk color. I have my boy Ramon to put this on the market. The color of this stuff is amazing. And uh, it's not too sweet, it, it's just perfect. It's not, it's, it, it is, uh, has cumin, coriander, a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't know about, but that's stuff that red bark right there, that's amazing. So, I'll get that money muscle right there. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. But yeah, I'm going to get these spread out. Hit that up one time. Mm -hmm. So yep, yeah, I'm going to let these sweat out. I'm going to get the second one seasoned up and we'll just bring you out. All right, guys, so I say hot and fast. So I'm going to use a lot of charcoal in this basket. So I think I'm going to start off we want to get up to about 400 degrees, probably. So I'm going to start off with a whole basket of charcoal. That's about 10, 12 pounds of charcoal. I got my hot rod and they're getting hot. All right, guys, so my charcoal is catching. I want to add a big chunk of oak wood right here and another chunk of oak wood right here, okay? And that's all the wood I'm using to smoke with today. So, like I say, 
We're going to get this hot and fast, guys. Uh, I keep repeating myself because you're going to be amazed at what this thing does when we get to cooking. The Weber Smoky Mountain. This, I got all bits open. I got close to uh, 8 to 10 pounds of charcoal. And uh, I'm trying to get the 350, 350 range, hot and fast. Both pork butts, get some smoke on them and get this thing out of here, okay? And get this cooked. All right, guys, so uh, I I believe, I, well, I know I got my hot my fire hot the way I like it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move my hot rod right now. So I got, I got so I move my hot rod, I unplug it, and I'm gonna just put it inside my Weber right here, okay? So now I wanna put my top on. I'm a Weber Smoky Mountain. I'll cook all this open, okay? I'm gonna make sure I get this on right. Okay. So since I got my top on now, I wanna add my water. We cook a hot and fast, but I want moisture. So that will help me with my smoke flavor. All right, that's enough water right there. See, well, it's not up the tip yet. That's okay. Because I like for my pork and everything to come up to temperature with my smoker. It will give me a better smoke flavor and a thicker smoke ring. So if everything comes up together, and here's the key, guys, okay? Put your lid on. All right, all vents open. And we setting it and we forgetting it, okay? So I'll bring you back in after uh, two or three hours on here, okay? I'll bring you in, I'll bring you in, let you know if we gonna spritz or not, okay? We shouldn't have to spritz, so I'll bring you in. All right, guys, so it's been an hour since we put this on. So let's see what the color looking like. And I may spritz it, I may not. It depends. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to spritz it, guys. So, uh, that's like a, what I'm spritzing with is just regular apple cider vinegar and water. So that's it, apple cider vinegar and water. Mm-hmm. Now remember, uh, smoke like moisture. So remember that, smoke like moisture. So, yep. Put the lid back on. You know what? I better put a temperature gauge into this, the pork. So I'm gonna go ahead. Right there. Okay, I'm reading 83 degrees. So we got a good little ways to go. What's up guys, it's been three hours. We are gonna wrap it, but I wanna make sure that it's not time to wrap yet. I do wanna spray this and spritz this uh, pork butt and make sure that it don't dry out, okay? Y'all look at that color. Can y'all see that color? That's amazing. So I want to go in and uh, put some spritz down on his thing right here. The bark looking absolutely yummy. And 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 let's put that back on there. And for y'all guys, all about the eternal temperature. We are sitting at a hundred and eternal temperature. We're sitting at 142 and 135. So let's get the, these pork butts out and get them wrapped, okay? 
I'm finna bring you in. Let's wrap these these uh pork butts. Excuse me. We're gonna wrap pork butts. All right. So how I wrap pork butts? I just do like two layers of foil. Oh Lord, heavy duty. Oh. Seriously, what up foil is it but heavy duty? If you got that talking to a barbecue guy. Oh girl. So that's how we look with the bark. Nice smoke. Nice bark. Spread down real good. All sides. Yep. Now I try to write wrap tight as I can wrap. So I go in like here. Going like here. And you want to wrap tight because you don't want to, uh, your key thing is you don't want to try to, uh, you want to make sure you keep that bark as, mm, you know, you want it to cook, but you don't want it to overcook. Let's do that again, guys and girls. Everything down. Mm -hmm. And this smells delicious. See, we all forget. Right here, get it tight. You know, try to roll it one more time. Get it tight. Come in. Press down. Come in. Press down. And keep rolling. Get all those ends folded in. Cause you want this thing tight. You go right back on the smoker. And I'm telling you what, you don't have to worry about it. Just set it and forget it. Just put your top on. You got that thing tight. You got your vents open. Uh, give or take. Two hours, we should have pulled pork. We'll probably pull that in the house, okay? All right, guys, so this TNT barbecue. See you back at the house. All right, guys, so it's been five long hours since we put this pork bus on. Hot and fast, baby. So what we gonna do is we are gonna zoom in I'm gonna put some hot gloves on with some white liners with my gloves up under there so I won't get burnt. But first, I'm gonna zoom in, show you how. All right, guys, the pork butts is cool enough for me to pull. So I uh, hope you can pick up the bark, guys. I mean, it's amazing. So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this number four right here. I'm gonna keep that bark on it. Oh, I'm trying to keep it in the, uh, uh, Theta juice, as you can see. And and look, hope you can see this. Look at our beautiful bark. See? Look at that, look at that beautiful bark right there, man. That's beautiful suckling bark. So uh, the test of pork is when our bone comes out clean like that. When that bone comes out clean, you know you did it right, okay? The bone is super clean. As you can pick up a nice smoke ring, it picked up and look how that pulled apart like that. Look, what claws? That just that just meat. It just pulls apart. This 
Oh my goodness. All right, guys. You can see that mound of pulled pork right there. Yum. And look at that mound right there. Yummy. As you can notice, it's not the smushy kind. You can see the bark. You can see texture. This has got a lot of texture. So, uh, yeah. I'm taking this to work tomorrow. That's what we have. Some bark and everything attached to it. Oh, there you go right there. With a tube. That's what I'm talking about right now. I want to taste this. All right, guys. Let's be honest. That is some of the best pulled pork I ever had. For its texture, smoky, the flavor. I'm serious. I'm a texture freak. That is phenomenal. I love it. I'm going to add some of that Carolina sauce. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that video on the iCards up above. It's going to be my Carolina sauce. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, please share my videos. Tell everybody is the guy that's smoking barbecue doing it the right way. The old fashioned way that's TNT barbecue. God bless you. God bless America. We out of here.